I saw that picture, I think, on somebody's Facebook page, and I thought it was absolutely hilarious. We are on a quest for a new cat, Paul. I don't want yours. Um, <laughs> but here's the thing. We kind of fell in love with one named Cork, but um, Cork, because he was homeless, had some issues of which they're being solved. And that means that we would be getting Cork like three weeks before Paducah, and I don't think that's a good idea. So I talked to the the place today. It's the Pleasanton uh, Humane Society. They are rock stars in as much as you walk in and you aren't you don't leave wanting to cry. How everything is handled is top shelf. And I just said, you know, when we get back, I am calling you because I'm so impressed. And honestly, I'll probably give them a sizable donation at some point. I'm so impressed. So impressed. <laughs> nice try, Paul. <laughs> Don't send me a picture. <laughs> I'm sure Calypso, any cat would love us. We're talking about little orphan Annie and Daddy Starbucks or Starbucks, Star Wars, whatever his name is. Daddy. <laughs> Our cats are very lucky. Okay. Um, it is just for fun. I'm just going to put this right here. It, in California, when you had a ton of rain, they have what they call the spring super bloom. And it's happening right now. And what's interesting is up in the foothills where we have a place, this isn't it, uh, there's a super bloom going on there. I believe this is down towards the Mojave Desert. And uh, it's just, it, it, my friend went one time as a quilter and she was just astonished. But what I want to say is this, with all the that's going on in the world right now, no matter what your views are, it's becoming painful to even turn on the news. So yesterday, I was invited to an egg drop, and it was amazing. At this school, they the third graders do it, all right? But all the kids, I don't think the kindergartners, but all the other kids come out and and they do the egg drop it it was it was so much fun and it just made me smile that's still lasting today i've got a little video i want to show you because until i saw it in person i honestly had no idea what to expect it's just 30 seconds so worth it <laughs> Before it started, um, the kids were all going like, like, let's go or something. I don't know. It's just, it was so infectious. And my daughter couldn't go. She was going to go. And she's a teacher librarian. And she does teach classes here and there. And she got in the car and was heading over to the school and realized she had her class she was supposed to be teaching. So she had to turn around and go back. It was so much fun. Okay, so... How many eggs survived? Let's talk about that. Well, one of the rules is you couldn't use bubble wrap in a box, and that's exactly what she did, because maybe somebody didn't read the rules. But um, a lot of parachutes were going on with, you know, Lucky's bags and Target bags, you know, any sort of plastic bag. There were some quite elaborate um, parachutes. Another one was this triangle shape that you put together like with balsa wood or something like that. And that's one apparently one of the strongest shapes too. So Adair was so sad she couldn't go. I'm so glad I went. And they've even got the babies slash her little brother watching all the kids. So when they're in third grade, they get to do the egg drop. So the other thing is I do, we are going to get onto the square it up ruler. Okay. And I got some good news for you. Here, we'll get on to this in a moment, all right? Um, I love this. I don't think I could live with this, but I got lost on this um, Facebook page, the Bohemian Boho Lifestyle. I, I just...
I, I could have grabbed 25 pictures, but I realized we're a quilting site. But if you need to lose yourself for a little bit on Facebook, I would go to Bohemian Boho Lifestyle. It is just amazing. The kitchen counters, the kitchen sinks. Um, there were counters that were like wood with inlaid glass and tile. Oh, just so inspirational. Uh, then also I saw on Facebook today, Susan Carlson, who's one of my fave teachers out there, is uh, teaching a class, I believe, on faces. And faces are really hard to do. I had the great fortune of taking her class at Asilomar. And I would recommend to anybody to take a class from Susan Carlson. I think this is just gorgeous. It's weird. Let's give it a few minutes for people to log back on. Oh, it's weird. It just came up and said that it's ended. I didn't even touch anything. So let's just give it a minute here. Um, oh. Okay, apparently YouTube is still okay. What about on Facebook? Uh, I don't know what happened. We, we, I've got to love our ability to communicate like this, but on other times, you know, you got the gremlins in there too. John's fix, looking at Facebook. I, I wonder if it even glitched at all on uh, YouTube. We shall carry on in a moment here. What are you finding, John? Okay, I don't know what happened. So let's see, where was I? Oh yeah, so Margo messaged me this this morning and I had just, that was, it was weird, Donna. Yeah, so I kind of go, um, but anyways, uh, um, Margo sent me this this morning and I had already found it on probably Facebook. Okay, so, oh, it was, it did glitch on Facebook. Okay, it looks like it's back now. Okay, I'd say we're safe to go. I see. So, because I want people to see this. This is by Kelly Klein. This is about as cute as it gets with Rick Rack. So cute. So simple. Um, Kelly, Kathy, what I mean by glitched is I literally got cut off. Just, you're off stream. Boom, done. So, I don't know how it reflected on your turn. Hmm. Though lost your face, purple crying. <laughs> Anyways, isn't this the cutest thing? And Margo, thank you for sending this to me because had I had I not just stumbled on it, um, I would have missed it. Okay. If you have questions about quilters select rulers, now's your time to to I'll answer at the end, but I know a lot of you enjoy them like no tomorrow. And I would like to say I came up with this concept. I didn't, but I'm glad somebody on our team did. And then Jennifer Jiggis did a great video that I'm going to show you. And then, and then I'll show you, I have a really cool surprise at the end. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Hello everyone, I'm Jennifer Jiggis with Quilter Select and I wanted to show you how to use the Square It Up rulers. The Square It Up rulers are available in two different sizes. One of the rulers is seven and a half inches on the outside and five and a half inches on the inside. The other ruler is eight and a half inches on the outside and six and a half inches on the inside. Why might you ask, do we need rulers with holes in the middle? Well, if we take a look, if you are, have ever done applique or machine embroidery, or you're simply trying to really fussy cut accurately a fabric motif, you are gonna love having the markings on the inside and the outsides of these rulers. On the center opening of the ruler, the measurements go from the, in, from the center of the ruler out. So this can be used as a centering guide, and that's true on the top, 
bottom, right, and left handed and hand sides. So imagine you have a beautiful piece of hand applique that you're ready to cut down into your quilt block. Rather than having to eyeball it, you'll be able to see very quickly where the center of your motif, imagine that this is our applique design, we can see right away where those center points happen to be mathematically. And then you can take your rotary cutter and simply cut down through on each side and then across the tops and the bottoms. The edges of the ruler, the inside corners, are notched out so that as your rotary blade comes down through, it's going to come past that opening and past that opening so that you'll have a nice crisp cut on all four corners. How amazing is that? Now on the outside, this is going to be dual purpose for you. You have the center markings of your ruler here, and then you have your traditional ruler markings on the outside. So I can also then use the outside edge, so I now have an eight and a half inch centering because I can still use these centering marks, but I can also use my traditional left to right markings depending on what it is that I'm cutting out. So with this ruler, I can center and cut both a five and a half inch, I'm sorry, a six and a half and an eight and a half inch quickly and easily, but I can also use that outer corner or outside edge of my ruler for traditional markings. You'll notice as well that if we are doing a fussy cutting type of a process, the quarter inch just to the inside, all the way around the outside of the ruler, is a little bit darker. So I can see very quickly if I am positioning my ruler in order to fussy cut a motif, I know which part of that fabric is going to end up in my seam allowance. How convenient and how much more accurate we're going to be with our projects. The other ruler in the family has an outside opening of seven and a half inches square and an inside of five and a half inches square. It also is cut into those corners so that you'll have a nice, clean, accurate cut on your squares. And then again, features that quarter inch of darker yellow shading on the outside edge and our center out measurements on the inside of the ruler. As with all of the Quilter Select rulers, it does feature that non-slip coating on the back side. So I know that I am not the only person who has ever tried to fussy cut a motif from my very precious fabric and had that ruler wiggle just enough that I was off slightly. With your Quilter Select rulers, you are going to be so much more accurate thanks to that non-slip coating that covers the entire surface of your squared up <coughs> rulers. Machine quilters, you know that you always need to test out your machine embroidery designs before you commit to your project. If you want to use those test sew outs for a small quilt project or a piece, um, pillow tops or anything else where you need to, again, be able to accurately center that motif and cut, these rulers are going to be a lifesaver. So look for these and all the other Quilter Select products in an independent retailer near you. You know, that's one of those things that I don't know why um, I didn't think of before, you know. So, Jennifer, thank you so much for that presentation. And she actually has another presentation that we're going to be doing on Monday that I'll talk about in a minute. But here, but here's the thing, people. I know, I mean, we have so many different size rulers. It's, it's kind of astonishing. And somebody asked for, like, a checklist or something like that. Well let me show you where you can get one to so you can keep track of which ones you have what you would do is go to um, the quilterselect.com website if you scroll to the bottom of the page and Jennifer said it's on every single page you can see where the red is it will not be red on the website but you see there that it's quilters select product guide and it's a it's a downloadable digital um, information booklet, okay? So, so, you, so you go to that, and then you start flipping through the pages, pages electronically, and when you get to page 18, you will see that it starts there with the machine quilting rulers, and then probably 19 and 20 are the gold for most of you, because there you can you know, print this out 
have it in your wallet or purse, and then be able to check off what you've got. And or, for instance, with holidays coming, um, Mother's Day, Father's Day, for you, Paul, you know, you could direct people to get what you don't have. So I think this is really super, super smart. And then when you flip the page is where you've got some of the... Um, uh, I don't know, more specific rulers. I guess that's the way to say it. So you've got that there. You know, I have to say something about that ruler on the right, the super long one. I thought, I'll never use that. I use it all the time. So never, ever say ever. Okay. Uh, do we have any questions here? Well, Rob Appel, why did you just call me? Why did you just text me? Because you're in here right now. What the heck? <laughs> I'm texting them while this is all going on. Okay, this is going to be a little short today. We just found out we're having Easter at our house on Sunday. Very small group, but I've got to go forward on that. Let me tell you what's going on Monday. Quilter Select also has a new product called Design and, and Quilt. It is a computer program that is loved by people that are using it. It's very easy. Jennifer is going to take us on a little journey of the bow tie block, all right, and what you can do with it and not do with it. And then I started thinking, I mean, I happen to love the bow tie block. I used to think it was really dopey, but then I made three quilts out of four inch finished bow tie blocks. And then I went to AccuQuilt and I said, we need to have a bow tie a die. And there's a little video, maybe a three minute video of how to use that die to get different results as you know, different things to think about. And I looked at it and I'm like going, so that's what I looked like 11 years ago. <laughs> how, how, how do you look younger? Go look at a video that's 10 years old. <laughs> Easiest facelift on the face of the earth. <laughs> so, um, it, this is about the square it up rulers. Yes, Karen, go back to go back to it and watch it because I think you'll be, I think it's kind of cool, you know? And again, I didn't think of it. Somebody on our team did. Yes, Alex, it's square it, not square. Oh, it's called square it ruler. It's not a square what am I saying? I'm just saying square it up. Square it. It's a square it ruler. And it is on our site and... Um, the video you can watch again. So if you have ideas of what you want, um, let us know. So for instance, Karen, that's good thought, 12 and a half. We've got to see how these fly. Uh, Jennifer told me at the last AQS show, I can't remember where it was, they were flying off the shelf, flying. They couldn't keep them in stock. So that is very good news. So as we go to celebrate with a lot of us, not everybody, we have many different faith-based belief people here, and I love that about us. Um, but if you're celebrating Easter, I hope you have a wonderful time. I um, was delighted that I get to do this on Sunday. I haven't hosted a, a holiday in a family gathering, I want to say, in many, many many years. So I'm very happy about that. So <clears throat> on Monday, I'll see you. There's a chance next Wednesday, I'm going to go see a new baby. There's a darn good chance. All right. So take care. I'm working on this right now, working on my little slow stitches. My stitches look like garbage because I'm used to working on a frame. Um, but I'm having fun. I'm not using a frame or a hoop and I'm learning something new. So anyways, okay, I um, have a wonderful weekend. I'll see you Monday, and I'm really looking forward to celebrating the bow tie block. Bye-bye.